Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did a makeup tutorial on my roommate Nelda. This is the look right here. <laughs> and we just did like a little chit chat as we did the tutorial. I figured this would be something fun to do because everybody's kind of pent up at home, has nothing to do, so why not, you know, do a tutorial for you guys so you can look beat for the gods at home. Sure can, honey. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy Nelda. She's been amazing, part of this little YouTube video. Thanks. You know, um, I just wanted to say okay. that... <laughs> Camera's that way. Oh, okay. I just wanted to say hi, and I hope you guys are staying strong. I'm an extrovert, so this is really a struggle time for me. I just can't imagine not being able to be around people like I wa would want to. But we've been making do by, you know, doing a little glam so that you can work from home if you want to and look cute for the Zoom meetings, girl. Mm, look cute for your little FaceTime day. Okay, girl. I see you. Get you your quarantine ting. <clears throat> uh, welcome, YouTube, to Nelda. <laughs> This is her. This is what she's like all the time. This is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Bye. Okay, so to prime her skin, we're going to be using this Becca Instant Complexion Refresh Base. Okay, here we are. Boom. So, how have you been doing during this COVID-19, but the year is 2020 situation? <laughs> <laughs> so, Basically, I've just been stuck here with you. <laughs> sure, it have been. What about you? You know, I'm a teacher, so <clears throat> it's been a struggle. This virtual remote learning has really kicked my ass, but it's made me more grateful for a lot of things. So we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Nella has dark eyebrows, so we're going to be using the color dark brown. So we're going to be using the Juvia's Palace. This is the concealer in number 8. And I'm going to be using this as her primer as well as to clean up her brows for her eyelids. Ah. Alright. <laughs> so one of the things that we've done, or has come out a lot, like I feel like for this Corona stuff, there's been like DJ sets on... Instagram parties, virtual hangouts, and things like that. And I think one of the things that we've enjoyed doing um, to pass the time is like kind of getting to know each other better. We've known each other for what, 15 years? Yeah. Yeah. So there's still always more. And a lot of questions have been like, you know, just like little party question games, like fishbowl question games kind of thing. So I'm going to ask Sam some questions and she will ask me some too. Right. For example, if you were a DJ, did you ever figure out what your DJ name would be? No. I feel like it should be DJ Glam by Sam. DJ, DJ. <laughs> <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> um, if you had to kind of like preview your set list, what are your top five songs that will get people like going and also give people like your vibes? So... We actually went on a walk because that's all we can do pretty much in the quarantine. And we were asking each other like these questions and it was actually like pretty interesting. And um, I told her, like I was thinking, I was like racking my brain. I'm like, there's so much good music out there. Like, mm -hmm. what am I gonna choose, you know? So then I thought to myself, like what are some things that like really make me bop? I was like, okay, like, I thought about like songs that really like when I, they come on they really get me hype and like because we're in quarantine I'm like what can I not wait to dance to when I hit the club mm -hmm. and the first song I think that popped into my head was Uncle Luke's Captain Coming Captain Coming Captain <laughs> Coming because I love that song it like reminds me of my childhood I think like I was in third grade when that came out yikes and then my second song was obviously a Post Malone song because okay. I'm obsessed. Okay. And I said Candy Paint because that's my favorite Post song. And Nelda was not very impressed with that. Not so. at all. So I just kept it moving. And the third song I chose was 
um, Lauren Hill's That Thing because do -wop, do -wop. I love Lauren Hill and I really feel like I listen to that a lot. Every Saturday that this girl is not at work and I know she's cleaning downstairs is when I can wake up to the town, the tunes and the sounds of Lauren Hill do -wop, that thing. Yep. Every weekend. So that's facts. <laughs> Clockwork. <laughs> I am. I'm like such a habit, like a habit forming person. I have like routine. Mm -hmm. So that's true. And then my fourth song was Cisco's That Thong Song. Which is a classic, to be honest. And I feel like it always makes you feel good. It really does. So that was my fourth song. And then my fifth song, I'm trying to remember what it was. Wasn't it like a Drake song? Oh yeah, so Mob Ties, I said by Drake, was my fifth song because I feel like that's my anthem for 2020. Okay. Are you in a mom? <laughs> Are you a gangster? Have you heard the lyrics though? I don't remember. You know a lot of his stuff sounds similar. So yeah. Those were my five songs that I chose. And then Nelda chose her five songs, which were all really great as well. I hope I remember them. <laughs> I was kind of struggling to remember mine too. Alright, one of my songs was Electric Feel by MGMT. Classic. So just, we're gonna set her, sorry really no, sorry. quick, uh, we're gonna set her eyes with the Too Faced. This is the Born This Way powder in the color translucent medium. And this is usually what I use to set my whole face, but because Nella's a little deeper in complexion, this is gonna be really great for brightening her under eye and her eyelids. Yes, honey. Brighten me up. Pull um, up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was, yeah, so I first picked Electric Feel by MGMT because I was telling Sam that I will never forget. I think it was Coachella, maybe the year that Beachella did it. I can't remember exactly, but in the last couple of years of Coachella, um, MGM and T were performing and Kid Cudi was like on the side of the stage and this song came on and he literally looked like the drunk uncle at the cookout. <laughs> But it was literally how we all felt about this song is that this song comes on and you just literally lose your mind because it's just so good. It's got such great vibes. I totally so agree. So good. So, and I remember when that song came out when we were in college and like we used to play that thing out. We did. So for her eyeshadow palette, we're going to be using this one by Ace Beauty. This came in a boxy charm box. You guys know I love boxy charm. And the color I'm going to start out with is probably going to be this color over here, cinnamon right here. I'm going to use that as her transition. Um, the second song I chose was, because you know I am a 305 girl till I die. So I have to have the king and queen of Day County, Trick Daddy and Trina, now. No Trina, no Trina. No, okay. <laughs> So yeah, that's just like, you know, that's one of those songs that I learned like with the ABCs, to be honest. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Melda with all the dramatics. How this is going to be know? such a weird video because I'm like ghosted, but here I am, guys. <laughs> um, the third song I picked, because I definitely am like an R&B girl. Um, so I wanted a song that like everyone would like sing along to. So I thought about like Mary J, maybe like Real Love. Um, or something like that, but I wasn't sure exactly so stay tuned. Um, what was my fourth song? I remember I also said I wanted like a theme song from like a really popular show Again, no, you said you wanted this is a big rich town. Yeah, so a theme song from popular show from, from power the theme song I would love to have that because everyone knows it. That's just what it is. You know it You don't even know that you know it um, was that four? That's four. Okay, so I need one more. What was my last one? So for her lid shade, I'm going to be using the color Primrose, which is just a really nice gold shade. Was it a Drake? Not a Drake song. It wasn't a Drake song because I think I chose a Drake song. You're like, mm -hmm. so to add a little bit of pop to this shade because I love to make golds pop. I'm going to be adding some setting spray. This is the Grace and Stella one. 
Well, I can't remember the last song. Maybe I'll think about it later. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna have a poppin' ass DJ set. So we actually were supposed to have a party on Saturday. I think what's today? Today's now. I don't even know the date. The anymore. first. So today is Wednesday, and we were supposed to have a party last Saturday. And we were like in the park walking on Saturday, and Nelda was like, "Today was supposed to be our party." And I was like, "Damn, <laughs> that was really, really hard. Really, really difficult. We will be partying for weeks to come. Weeks to come." But I will say, like, with this quarantine, I think that, like, we definitely have learned to, like, we've always loved hanging out with each other, but it's just been, like, that much better to me. Mm -hmm. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for Nelda. She might hate my guts. It's been all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just feel like we've just really been enjoying each other's company because we can't really be out here, like, socializing. So we've just been, like she said before, getting to know each other better. And just, you know, just I feel like every day, like, our little friendship connection just gets deeper. I feel like we sound like a couple right now. But we do, and that's fine. Um. <laughs> so for liner, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetic Superhero Liner. Since I stay home the most, because, um, you know, she has to go and save people's lives and stuff. Um, it's just always awesome when she's, like, home for a couple of days and we can actually kick it. Because usually when she comes home after a long day... It's only like, you know, some kind of fun. But we've just been enjoying like cooking for each other and drinking a lot. <laughs> so much drinking. So much drinking and watching a lot of shows and binging on things and, you know, working out together and stuff. That's been like really fun. Yeah, it's definitely been a lot of fun. Like even though we're in this like unfortunate situation, I feel like we're definitely like everybody else making the best out of it mm -hmm. and just enjoying one another and just learning more about each other I mean we have lived together for over six months now and they've been great but I just feel like you know when you're stuck with someone all the time like you really like see that person you know mm -hmm. so I feel like we've really been seeing each other yeah I totally agree and it's actually like really nice because like sometimes I come home and it's like she really knows like what I want when I come home from work or something. I'm like, damn, no, though, why can't you be my man? Because I feel like, <laughs> Same. I feel, like really Same. catered to sometimes. Same. I totally agree. Same. And it feels good to just know that like, you know, someone's coming home and you're going to like talk about your day or not talk about your day. Yeah. We're totally banned from talking about COVID in the house. <laughs> Because I hear about COVID all the time at work and my parents over exhaust the subject and I just feel like it's just a very sad time in American history. So I just don't want to dwell on it because it's already sad. So like why keep pushing it and like adding more like ugh to my life. So we don't talk about COVID in 4060. <laughs> so we're going to be using Fenty Beauty. This is the foundation of Nelda's liking. This is in the shade 450, and I have this foundation as well, and I really enjoy it. It's really great. It doesn't, like, I think it sets really well. It's, um... It's really good for all skin types, I yeah. feel. Like, no matter if you're oily or, like, dry, I feel like it just sits really nicely on the skin. I agree. And I'm kind of oily, so it just works really well. And it mattes your face. Yeah. Is that good lingo? Beauty lingo? That's great lingo. Thank I'm you very so proud of you. I mean, I'll be out here. <laughs> Honestly and truly. So like another question we were asking each other was... We asked each other, um, oh, what's like your favorite word? Okay, so I said my favorite word was honestly. No, that's mine. I mean, no, def... No, that is yours. Because <laughs> Mario was like, I hate it when you say honestly and I think that's what resonated. <laughs> I, my favorite word has to be definitely because I feel like I use that word a lot mm -hmm. like via text and I'm not like great with text either if you text me you know I hit you with um, emojis one word responses because I don't really like text like I like it it's a good she's running low <laughs> <laughs> it's a good means to an end but I feel like if you really want to have me engage, like you will call me and have a phone conversation with me. 
I'm just more of a face-to-face -face person, so I don't really care for texting as much either. And I also am not necessarily a phone call person. I'd rather FaceTime you, which people hate, but I don't care. Or just like legit, like I'm always down for like a meetup. Like that's my favorite thing is like one-on-one -on -one time with people. What was my favorite word? I think I said uh, honestly. Honestly. Which some people say they don't like it because they're like, well, are you lying for all the other times? <laughs> but I don't know. Just when I'm saying honestly and truly, that's just. It feels like I'm being really serious because I think I'm, I'm a jokester. So I'm always joking a lot. You are. The other question was, what's like your least favorite word? Like you hear this word and literally your skin crawls. I'm trying to think what I said. There's like several words that I hate. Uh. Oh, so I said I hate the word cock. Ugh. I just feel like it's so like, ugh, like when people refer to a penis. <laughs> As a cock, I want to literally like jump out of whatever building place I'm at and just like implode on myself because I, I just feel like it's like such a disgusting word and it literally makes me cringe and I just feel like, I don't know, like I feel like it's people, just terrible. It it's is. like feet. Ooh, I actually have a new one. There's two words I hate. It's a phrase, one's a phrase and one's a word. I hate the word female. Because I feel like men use it to, like, dehumanize women. So whenever a guy's just like, yeah, I was talking to that female. Did, female what? Human? Dog? Cat? Iguana? What? I don't understand. So I really hate that word. Um, I also hate the phrase devil's advocate. When people say, well, I'm just trying to be devil's advocate. And I'm just like, the devil don't need no advocate. Okay? He don't need it. Maybe have Jesus. Just worry about that. Yeah, so, I mean, I do feel like female is very disrespectful, so I'm, like, totally with you on it. Or, like, chick, when people call women chicks, like, I'm like, ugh. Like, I'm not a chick. Mm-mm. That's as bad as, like, calling me the, the bitch. Yeah, like, I don't know, it's just very odd. Like, I think it also just, like, resonates with, like, a respect thing, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I totally agree with Nalda on those choices. What was the next one? Good for me. What turns you on? In a man? You can take it wherever you want. Well, technically it's B45, so I guess we should keep it PG-13. Yeah, but by the time this video goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus! <laughs> <laughs> Shit is getting real! <laughs> well, so what turns you on? So, like, for me, I feel like, like, whenever I'm looking, like, let's say for a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, whenever I like a guy, like, I know you want to be, like, attracted to the person, like, that's, that's just human nature, like, we want to be attracted to our mate, mm -hmm. but honestly, like, what's attractive to me is a man who's, like, kind of independent and has a self-responsibility, like, you don't need to be behind him, mm -hmm. because I felt like I've dealt with that in past relationships, and I think I, it's something I really learned I valued with age, mm -hmm. like, I want someone who can, like, hold their own, but also, like, need me at the same time, but not depend on me, mm -hmm. so there's, I think there's a huge difference there. Preach. Mm -hmm. That's a word. Um, what turns me on? What turns me on is, um, when... A partner you know they don't like they like notice the little things so things that I don't necessarily like say and you just like you know maybe you bring me my favorite flower and I've actually never explicitly told you that or you bring me like my favorite coffee one day and I never like you know I didn't ask you to do it you just kind of did it and you knew what it was like things like that like really attract me to people because it just means like you're listening to me and you're paying attention to me and you're present in conversation exactly. I think that's you. so exactly. we're going to be setting her under eye area with that same Too Faced powder so I think that's like totally on par mm -hmm. with like how I feel as well because I feel like I found with dating that you know, like, people will always put their best foot forward, but it's, like, the little things, like you said, that really matter because it's, like, you're actually listening to me when I'm talking. Yeah. Like, it's not just, like, a phase or, like, a moment. Like, you're actually, like, paying attention. And I think actions are huge for me, too. Mm -hmm. Because everybody can talk, but, like, it's, like, are you willing to, like, back it up with actions as well? You know? So I feel like that's really important 
to me because you can say whatever the hell you want, but are you gonna like put in the work, you know? Yeah. Why, 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 No? Yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, what is a big turn off for you? So, I do not like men who have no confidence. That is like something I've really realized as well. To set the rest of her face, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier um, powder. This is the one that has a glow to it. Let me tell you exactly. The translucent medium deep and this is the loose setting powder glow. So I like this one because it gives a little mm to the skin and I feel like once you set it with, you know, like spray, it just makes you glow and it's like that glow from within kind of feeling to me. So I like that. Just let your soul glow. From coming to America? Sure. Okay. Um, what did I just say? Oh, what's your turn off? Someone who is un who is not confident? Yeah, like I want a man who like is not like worried about me all the time. Like if you're worried about me all the time, like you you have an issue. Or if you're like worried about with what I wear, like you wanna be respectful in your relationship and you know, have boundaries. Mm, but you guys I who are like insecure. Yeah, like I want you to be confident in yourself and confident in us as a couple. And like that to me I feel like that like if you have that, we're gonna work. Mm, that's fair. I agree with that. I know I'm gonna set her face here. now with the same setting spray. Sorry, Nala. That's a wet wet. <laughs> that's what he said. Okay. We're gonna let that dry. She is moist, honey. She is moist, honey. What's my turn off? I think my turn off is when someone doesn't necessarily make me or like our relationship a priority. Like if everything else always comes first, like where you don't have like a work-life balance, you got all this other stuff going on, then I'm just like, all right, I have because I feel like I am really good at balancing like friends and like family work and things like that and I think that's something that everybody needs to apply to their life period yeah and I feel like if you can't do that we ain't good so Nelda since this is a tutorial and this is something that she would wear um day to day or like in a glam setting I would say like or like a dinner vibe um, I was like, so what's your style as far as like blush and found and foundation and like highlighter and like I've gone out with Nelda so many times and she's like, I don't wear bronzer and I was like, okay, that makes sense. And what was your rationale, Nelda? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like when you are a deeper complexion person like me, she is chocolate, honey, she's melting your mouth, not in your hands. <laughs> She, I just don't feel, I don't see the point of it. Like, what am I, I don't, I just don't see the point of it. But I'm not saying that I'm against it. I've just never been taught. So, we were just saying that, basically, we think that, you know, it's really hard, the deeper in complexion you have. And it's probably the same for people who are very, very, very fair. Um, that it's hard to find things that really work for you and I feel like the makeup company really slacks on that mm -hmm. so it would be nice if they were a little bit more inclusive and that's definitely been a theme throughout all of my videos if you watch my channel so for highlight we're going to be using the Natasha Denona All Over Glow this is in 02 medium yeah and I feel like Rihanna's emergence in like the beauty world has definitely um, made that point with like you know her line of foundations and makeup and like being really inclusive for so many people and people who've never had their specific shade before can now go into a store and just pick it out and it feels great and we have a friend her name's Simi um, and I remember she was like I can always find foundation she's like but when Rihanna came out with her line it was like the perfect match for her skin tone because I feel like when you're deeper in complexion like things tend to look chalky yes. they tend to look ashy mm -hmm. and it's just like not a good look and I feel like the companies that did have makeup maybe they didn't incorporate enough red or orange into their mm -hmm. you always had to do some like mixing yeah that was always a big thing like I rarely found foundation where it was just like or you get like flashback it was just like a mess but I definitely feel like she kind of pushed the envelope and now even other companies 
are like, oh, well, let's do it too. Like, we've been sitting here, girl, waiting for generations mm -hmm. for you to catch up. Exactly. So I'm going to go back in with that same cinnamon shade and uh, add this to her lower lash line. Nelda is a teacher, as she mentioned before, and she's about to do a virtual video. So she needs to look on and popping for her students. Sure do. I got to tell the babies what's up. She misses her baby, so she wants to make a grand entrance via, I don't know, Wi-Fi. Oh, stop. <laughs> I do, I do. I really do miss them. I think when you're a teacher, like for me specifically as a teacher, like one of my strong suits, I believe, is the ability to build relationships with my kids. And obviously, you have to be with them <laughs> to do that. And not really seeing them and seeing their faces and talking to them has been quite difficult. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of like... Get back in there? Get back in the game. Yeah. So for... Her lower lash line, I'm going to be using a black eye coal. This one is from, who is this from? Hollywood and Vine. This came also in a boxy charm box. And I actually really like this eye coal. I have to say that with boxy charm, the one thing I hate from their subscription is the liner pencils because I feel like they're pretty bad nine times out of ten. But this one was actually a really good one because. If I'm going to use a liner in my waterline, I want it to be black. You know, I really want it to pop because I feel like that's the point, right? And half the time, I don't even use liner. I feel like with age, I've distanced myself from it. But if I'm going out, the eyeliner's coming, honey. Ooh, <laughs> I was going to say, I rarely use the eyeliner. It's one of those, like, I'm trying to be extra, then I'm like, okay, I'm definitely putting on an eyeliner. But I rarely do use it. So for mascara, we're using the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Halfway Mascara. Nelda has short eyelashes. Okay, we don't have to tell my business. I'm just saying, so in case mm -hmm. they don't pop, you know why. Oh! I'm just joking. I do have short eyelashes. Look it's up, really look, upsetting. Like halfway? Yeah. I mean, and I hate false lashes, so I'll never encourage you to wear So we got cut out, but what I'm basically did while we got cut out was use the color jasmine which is a champagne shade and i use this on her brow bone as well as her inner tear duct for her inner tear duct highlight now we're going to transition to lips now they said she wanted something peachy and glossy glossy honey so i'm gonna look at my collection over here and see what appeals to the misses so for the shade, we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Sunset Strip. Mm -hmm. I love these lip glosses. These are my favorite formulation of lip glosses. If everybody is curious, or if anybody is curious, I should say. I love the formulation. I feel like they're super pigmented. And not only are they pigmented, they just feel really comfortable on the lip. Like, I know some lip glosses are just very gritty or they don't mm -hmm. last. And I feel like Anastasia definitely is, like, on and popping on my lips. If we were going somewhere or had somewhere to be, I would definitely <laughs> incorporate a lip liner. But we're just keeping it simple for the most part. So this is the final look. I'm going to zoom in on Nelda so you can see all this greatness. I'm going to do a good YouTube beauty shot. Let me know when you're ready. I'm zooming, girl. Here we are. Nelda, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being the star model of YouTube and keeping our quarantine eventful in 2020. Call me. I'll be your quarantine. Okay. But in realness, guys, stay home, please. Yes, please stay at home so I can go out this summer, please. And celebrate our birthdays please. and live life. And, you please, know. I want brunch. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good time during your quarantine, I guess. Laters.